water pa rin. In England, you have queens and now a king, and many countries you have 
that as well. So what happens? He even built a that was discovered around three years ago that was called Welcome to Ilya Kapatalina. He renamed Jerusalem after his own self. One of his four names was Ilya because he was promised and presuming that the children were going to die and it was going to be a new city without the kid, remember, without the babies of yore. Also in Rome, they brought a shrine for Titus and destroyed the second temple and also was meant to subjugate the Jewish people, meaning the end of the people. Interesting enough, the Romans of today are not the same Romans. And Adrian, all these rusty statues that wash up on the Mediterranean shores. You can just remember that these from the same of your life. And ironically, who did survive? The Jewish people. Why? So we take ourselves, we'll finish the book, I'm sorry. We take ourselves as a link in the chain. If I take the teachings of my parents and they have theirs all the way back to Abraham or walk in this mountain, and I give those teachings onto my children and they to theirs, the teachings of belief in one God and belief in loving your fellow man, that's what it's all about, right? Then we make an immortal chain and welcome the public, everybody, the general public, to join that chain of high, higher qualities. But then for the key word of the day, and that word is kid. I mentioned earlier, the days of your. There's another Hebrew word that has the same word, kid, that has a root, but adding two more Hebrew letters, the yud and the hey, together actually spell God's name. And that word is kadima, onward, forward, let's go. It's right, exactly, honestly. Because in order to go forward into a more meaningful future, you have to learn the lessons of the past. And that's why the soldiers that are indoctrinated are given their bag at uh, the end of their training one hand a gun and the other hand a Bible to know what they're fighting for, right? What they're fighting for, what they're living for, very important. And this point, I point all of you ambassadors to Jerusalem. Take a chunk of Jerusalem in your heart, be empowered, and we'll move you. Thank you. Thank you.